Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your person, what they're thinking about you at this time, what are their intentions for the near future towards you, towards this connection. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, for Pisces, spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Pisces and love? Oh, that one just came right out. What can Pisces expect in love? And Pisces expect. Oh, okay. We have standing firm and taking action. Hmm. Movement, action, courage, defense, resistance, courage. Someone's being bold. Someone, someone is feeling bold. And I say someone because this reading could be all about you, Pisces. It could be all about your person. Flip the roles if they resonate more for you. Someone is making a move. Someone is standing up for themselves, standing up against whatever challenge or obstacle is in front of them. Can I get one more, please, for Pisces? What can Pisces expect, spirit, and love? What can Pisces expect? in love soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay so that we're dealing with a soulmate energy hmm. so let's see let's clarify i'm using um the modern way tarot here all of the decks that i use are linked in the description box if you're interested spirit Tell me more about these energies for Pisces. Clarity guidance, please. Insight, please, for Pisces spirit. Why is taking action here? What is this taking action energy about for Pisces? We have the magician. Okay, can I get one more? Why is taking action here for Pisces? Why is taking action here? For Pisces. Six of Pentacles. The Magician and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone, once again, being bold and taking action here in, in, in a very um, deliberate way. Someone's manifesting balance or manifesting action. But I'm getting that this is someone that they're very focused. Like there's a goal here. This isn't like someone that is just moving towards something. There's a plan behind it. I have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Um, I feel like there's someone that's been reflecting, thinking, planning. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of movement or action or communication with the Four of Swords. Maybe someone has healed from a situation. Taurus Energy with the Hierophant. Um, well, the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that someone's almost like taking an opportunity or things are moving here. A cycle is, or this wheel is turning, I guess I should say. So there's there's movement here, but I feel like it's for a purpose. I'm not sure what this Hierophant is about, though. You could be dealing with a Taurus, someone with Taurus in their chart. This could also be someone that's doing things the right way, the traditional way. We'll see because I am going to clarify these further with my little clarifier deck. Tell me about standing firm. Tell me about standing firm. Why is standing firm here? Why is standing firm here, spirit? Well, we have the star, Aquarius energy, and the four of swords again. Both of these cards are cards about healing. I'm also getting, um, you know, the star is hope, faith, like someone's probably hoping or um, having faith in whatever they're planning or thinking about here. Interesting, because I feel like um, it's almost like someone has had to do this. Okay, we have this, the, the death card at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. So maybe there's an ending or a change. Yeah, seven of cups. It's like someone, um, maybe um, there's an ending or change that someone is planning or hoping to do here, like hoping to happen. Um, maybe this is something that will open up doors. 
options. Um, I feel like someone doesn't, maybe they don't quite know exactly which choice would be the best choice. I have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. This could be communication. Wow, the Ten of Swords after that. So there's something here that's, oh, I don't know if this already happened. I'm going to have to clarify. This could have been an ending that already happened that someone is still kind of processing or um, maybe now they have options where they didn't before. Tell me about soulmate. This could be you or your person, Pisces. Tell me about soulmate. What's this soulmate energy about here? Ten of Wands. Why is this soulmate? Wow, there's the Ace of Cups. New love with a soulmate, perhaps? But why the Ten of Wands? I feel like almost like an overflowing of emotions here. A lot of emotions here. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, Gemini energy. Wow, yeah, this is definitely soulmate energy. The hangman after that. Hmm, we'll have to see what all of this really means. But so far what I'm getting is almost like, well, there's someone that's definitely going to make something happen with the magician. That is for sure. Um, this could also be something that someone is manifesting. Um, I feel like there's a theme here of healing, renewal as well. Um, almost like not just healing, but being better because of it, because I have standing firm. So, you know, if there was an ending or a change in your life, Pisces, I feel like um, you're healing from that and becoming a better version of yourself because of that. that this could also be your person. And I feel like this is involving a soulmate of some sort. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Ten of, of Wands again. So, hmm. We'll see what all of this means. Tell me about the Magician with the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Magician here? With the Ten of... Not the Ten of Pentacles. Why do I want... With the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Magician here for Pisces? Seven of Cups Reverse. Why is the Magician here? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. I feel like someone has really thought about this. You know, with the Four of Swords. Full Reverse, and then the Ace of Wands, okay. Wheel of Fortune, Reverse, Six of Swords. Hmm. Well, there's definitely movement here with the Six of Swords. Like someone's literally making a move. I feel like this is someone that um, perhaps is making a move after not making any moves at all. Um, after becoming unstuck. Because I have the Hangman Reverse. Um, with the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse and this Ace of Wands. I'm getting delays. This was a delayed beginning for someone. And I feel like they were trying to work around that. Around that delay. Uh, they were evaluating, evaluating many options and they chose an option. And this is helping them move forward here. This could be somebody leaving a difficult situation. This could be somebody that's long distance from you. This could be somebody that is literally moving, physically moving somewhere new. But all of this, I feel, is for more balance with the Six of Pentacles, especially this Six of Swords. Usually this is a card about leaving a difficult situation to go somewhere where there's more harmony, more um, a calmer and peaceful environment. Can I get one more for this Six of Swords? And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, it just maybe wasn't the right time. Why is the Six of Swords here? I don't know. I want this one. Three of Swords. Someone's leaving um, the difficulty behind, I feel. Something was very painful, uh, difficult, stressful I'm picking up here. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Yep. I feel like this could have been like a big blowout or someone was deceived. There could have been a third party. Three of Cups reverse, Three of Swords is here. I feel like someone kind of gave up this fight, didn't want to fight anymore. Um, 
I don't know what this is in regards to. This could be you or your person leaving this situation. What's this Ace of Wands about? Why is the Ace of Wands? So you have the Ten of Wands again, Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like someone's slowly moving towards a new opportunity here. Um, someone could have had financial difficulty or they're just, they have a lot going on. There's the magician. Yeah, this is all related. This is someone that's trying to make something work, something that's been difficult for them. Um, this could be you Pisces as well. I feel like you've had a hard, hard time of it. Maybe you have, have had financial difficulties. Maybe you feel emotionally uh, drained or emotionally like a heavy weight. But the Knight of Pentacles is here. This has been slow coming or slow going. Um, and I feel like it's leading somewhere. It's leading somewhere for sure. Tell me about this star and the Four of Swords. Two of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the star and the Four of Swords. Yeah, these two. Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that I feel is coming into their own. Two of Wands and the Sun. Yeah. Choosing happiness, a new path here, somewhere that leads to happiness. I feel like with the Two of Pentacles reverse, there's no more of this back and forth um, or no more of the doubting or the weighing of options. Someone has chosen something here. I'm not sure why the Page of Cups is here. I feel like this is... Um, This could be an apology. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Cups here? Seven of Swords reverse. Well, there was something that definitely happened here. I feel like someone's apologizing to you. Maybe they want to heal whatever happened because something was definitely not successful. I feel like someone was caught in a lie or caught being sneaky or just you saw someone very clearly, Pisces. Yeah, High Priestess reverse, the moon reverse. This was a huge revelation here. There you are, Pisces. Something came to light. An illusion was seen clearly. And I feel like someone is now wanting to apologize for what went down. Why is the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups here? Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups here? Wow, Nine of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands in the Ace of Cups here? Hmm. Six of Pentacles reverse. Again with the deception or the bad communication here. I feel like something is hidden here, but why? The world reverse. Okay. Pisces. I don't know what's going on with Pisces lately. Your readings have been... <laughs> I feel like Pisces have been going through it. You and Leo's. Always. There's always something going on. But Pisces... Definitely check out the reading before this one. Um, I have the playlist linked in the description box because I feel like this is kind of a continuation in a way. I feel like someone here is keeping you down in a sense. I feel like maybe someone doesn't want you to have a new start or make a move or move on. Uh, I feel like there's a block here into to new love for some reason. This is what I'm seeing with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups. You know, at first I was like, this is an overflowing of love. But then I feel like someone here, it's almost like they don't want the balance to happen or the balance can't happen, right? Which is what someone's manifesting. So it's like there's someone that's manifesting things being made right or more balanced or things being maybe more successful. But I feel like there's a block here with this Ten of Wands. 
And I'm trying to figure out why. Like, who would want to block this? I wonder if this is also you. Maybe you are de de um, delaying closing a cycle or are prevented from closing a cycle. Because the world reverse could be a card about lack of closure. But I'm not leaning towards that too much because I have the Page of Swords reversed here. And then they have the Seven of Swords here re um, reversed as well. So I'm almost getting like the same energy. Like someone maybe is in the way. Why is the world reverse? Why is the world reverse? The devil. Yeah, there's something here. Um, Capricorn energy. And then I have the High Priestess and the Moon reversed again. Ace of Cups after that. So this is related. So I'm, I'm trying to decide or, you know, figure out here, Pisces, if this is new love outside of everything that's going on, or if this is someone that still loves you despite what's happened in your connection. I feel like there could be two groups of you. Because with the devil here and the ace and the world reverse with the page of swords reverse, it's like some sort of lack of knowledge because I have the high priestess and the, the moon reversed. It's like maybe this secret needs to come out. Maybe this illusion needs to be seen very clearly for someone to end a cycle here. I wonder if this is you that needs to see this or if it's your person that needs to see this. Because remember, the energies could be flipped here. This could be your person stuck, you know? And I do have the Three of Cups reverse, so I feel like there's some sort of interference here. Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? Four of Swords reverse. Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? The Sun. I feel like this is someone seeing something clearly. Like someone was sleeping and they're waking up. The sleeping, the resting is over with the four of swords. Now they're up, they're awake. This is what I'm, I'm picturing here. So Pisces, I feel like this is a very complicated situation. Like it's been for a lot of Pisces lately. Um, and it's funny because it's complicated on the table, but there it's all work going together in a way. I have the four swords here, four of swords reverse. I have, you know, the moon reverse and the high priestess reverse that showed up with the page of swords reverse, the seven of swords reverse, these go together. Um, I have the ten of pentacles, um, the ten of wands, sorry, that came out twice. Uh, the ace of swords reverse, the page of swords reverse. You see what I mean? There's like... Things are kind of working together in a way to make a story here. Tell me about this Page of Swords Reverse. Page of Swords Reverse could be gossip. It could be deception. It could be a fight. They're not very good communicators. Tell me about the Page of Swords Reverse. Three of Pentacles Reverse. So again, with a third party situation, either someone's being deceptive about another person or a situation that's in, getting in between you and them, or someone's hiding a third party, like completely. This is very interesting to me. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like I could see a light at the end of the tunnel here, despite the difficulty. But the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Fool reverse, Six of Swords, it's like someone is trying to keep you from having this new beginning or having this opportunity or distracting you with an opportunity. I don't like this energy, Pisces. What, what's up with this Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? And this is making me, oh, same energy. This is making me worried because I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed and there's the King of Pentacles, yes. I feel like there's a commitment here that already existed or is already in, in existence. Because the King of Pentacles for me and the Queen of Pentacles, they tend to already be married. And then when I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, something's off there. So I wonder, Pisces, are you dealing with someone that's already in a commitment? 
If so, let me know in the comments. Or have you been dealing with someone that you feel like you can't trust for whatever reason? Like something might feel off to you. Because I have a feeling that the High Priestess Reverse, the Moon Reverse, those two energies, which are all about a revelation or an illusion that's being seen clearly, right? Whatever was hidden is now revealed. I wonder if that's happened yet or if that's about to happen with the sun over here. Hmm. Let's get some insight into this other person. Let's see. What do we need to know about this other person? The person that you are dealing with, Pisces. I keep trying to make these videos shorter, but <laughs> it's just not working out for any of the signs. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with at this time. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person, Spirit? We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? Death card, Scorpio energy. What do we need to know about this person? Hmm. One more piece. I need to know about this person. King of Cups. Nine of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups. So I feel like this is the person. There's the King of Pentacles again, by the way. I feel like this is the person that's trying to figure out how to balance something. So I feel like your person is the one that's trying to either fix something or um, balance something here within a connection. Because I have the two of cups. However, with the nine of wands, there's like trust issues here or someone's very guarded or defensive. Um, they've been through hell and back. They're not giving up. But I'm picking up almost like this this energy of someone that's a bit, I don't know. There's uncertainty here that I'm picking up. I'll find out why in a second. Now with the Ten of Cups here, I'm, I'm getting like Ten of Pentacles vibes, especially because the King of Pentacles showed up at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some this person is holding back here in a way with the Four of Pentacles or holding on to something. Let's see. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands. So I feel like this person is kind of holding on to the idea of a new beginning of this balancing that they want. Hangman and the Chariot. Yeah, this is the person that wants to make a move. Cancer Energy here. Seven of Cups. That's, that's whose energy I'm picking up. Your person is the one that's trying to, I feel, have courage enough to make a choice, an important choice, but they need to be careful because the Seven of Cups is here. Why the Four of Wands? Why is this like idea of like a home, something with home, family, or another commitment? Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Yep. Tell me about the Death card. The Devil showed up again here with the Ten of Cups. So I feel like there's um, there's someone else here. Either a family member or um, another person that they might have a family with. Interesting. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Yep, there's the uncertainty, the Two of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there's a reason why I pick up certain energies. This is someone that's unsure, it, you know, going back and forth, juggling two different things. And because they're juggling two different things, I feel like they always have like... They're looking over their shoulder all, all the time. There's a Six of Swords again. Bottom of the deck. 
The Knight of Cups, I feel like this could be an apology for this ending or change. There could have been an ending that already happened between you and this person. What a mess, Pisces. Tell me about the death card. Scorpio energy here. Tell me about the death card. Two of Wands, another choice. Mm, they could have made a different choice here. Yep, Five of Swords. So this person screwed up essentially. There might have been conflict or deception here. Um, a battle of some sort or someone that wasn't playing fair with you. They could have been juggling two people at the same time, Pisces. I hate to say it. 